iOS 16 is here. At WWDC, Apple revealed the next major version of iPhone software. There are actually quite a bit of new features, big ones, small ones, in between ones. So yeah, a lot to be excited about. iOS 16 adds new ways to communicate, like being able to edit messages you already sent in the Messages app, new tools to personalize your iPhone, like the ability to customize your lock screen, and new privacy features for those in abusive relationships. All these add up to an iOS that on paper feels fresh and contemporary. So let's break down the biggest features and changes to iOS 16. And let's start with messages. Apple said that they're adding three of the most requested features to messages. First, you can now edit sent messages. So if you notice a typo in a message you just sent, you can now edit the message after the fact. Next, which this one might be my favorite new feature to messages, you can immediately recall a sent message. I'll be honest, I accidentally send unfinished messages all of the time, and I will definitely be using the undo send feature to look a little less chaotic to my friends. And last, you can mark messages and threads as unread, which is an excellent way for when you don't have time to respond to a message in that moment, but you wanna come back to it later. The next big feature to talk about is the lock screen. One of the things you look at the most on your iPhone is the lock screen, and iOS 16 brings perhaps the most substantial update to the iPhone's lock screen. You can swipe to try out different styles, of which there are many. You can also customize the fonts for the time and date, as well as add lock screen widgets, like temperature, activity rings, and a calendar widget. Now, the lock screen widgets are akin to the complications on the Apple Watch. You can also set up multiple custom lock screens with different widgets and easily swipe to switch between them. Sadly, one feature we hoped Apple was going to add wasn't always on display. It's something nearly all Android phones have, and even the Apple Watch has it. So I guess we'll just have to wait until the iPhone 14 to see if it comes out with that. But let's talk about notifications and live activities. Oh, notifications. Sometimes notifications can cover your lock screen's photo. iOS 16 moves the lock screen notifications to the bottom of your display. This will be a big help anytime you use your iPhone one-handed. iOS also aims to solve another notification problem. Sometimes you get a bunch of notifications from one app, like the score of a basketball game. Now, a new tool for developers called Live Activities makes it easier to stay on top of things that are happening in real time from your lock screen. Instead of having a bunch of notifications, Live Activities is like a mini live feed for things like sporting events or heck, tracking the progress of an Uber ride. And now let's talk about an outstanding iOS 16 feature that really doesn't have a clever marketing name. In iOS 15, your photos were automatically analyzed and could identify objects that were in them. In iOS 16, this is taken to the next level. When you touch and hold on a photo's subject, like this dog, you can lift it away from the background and drag it to add to other apps like Messages. Apple sometimes overuses the word magic, but this feature truly seems like it. And then there's SharePlay. SharePlay rolled out for iOS 15 and lets you have a shared experience while connecting with someone over FaceTime. You can watch TV shows together, listen to music all in sync. Now, iOS 16 adds the ability to discover SharePlay apps right from FaceTime. But perhaps one of the coolest things Apple did for SharePlay was to make it work with the Messages app. Now, when you wanna share a movie on Disney+, Plus, for example, you can start SharePlay together while chatting in Messages. Next, let's talk about one of the more curious additions, and that would be to Apple Pay and the Wallet app. Now, Apple said that ID cards will be available in more states with more security and privacy features. But in iOS 16, you can protect your identity and age. So rather than showing your exact birth date, you can simply share that you're over 21 iOS 16 also makes sharing keys easier with apps like Mail and Messages. When your friend receives the key, they can add it to the Wallet app on their iPhone. Apple said it's working to make sure that shared keys are an industry standard and free for others to use. But the really big stuff comes to Apple Pay, which supports new types of payments and, get this, has a new feature called Apple Pay Later which lets you split the cost of an Apple Pay purchase into four equal payments spread over six weeks with no interest and no fees. Yeah, I definitely wanna see the fine print for this. 
Upcoming payments are managed through the Wallet app. But Apple Pay doesn't stop there. You can track Apple Pay orders directly from the Wallet app, merchants can send receipts, and tracking information to the app as well. Last, I want to talk about a feature which might be the most significant one in iOS 16. It's called Safety Check. It's a new feature to help people in abusive relationships, as well as anyone looking to get a better grasp on who has access to sensitive data. Safety Check lets you review and reset who has access to your location information, as well as your passwords, your messages, and other iPhone apps. And with that, that's all I've got. Look, okay, honestly, there are so many more iOS 16 features like Apple added focus filters for focus mode within apps. Uh, there's transit fare card shortcuts within the Apple Maps app. And there's a new thing called iCloud family checklist, but there's so much more. iOS 16 is gonna be available for the iPhone 8 and later. For more about iOS 16, check out the links in the description. And for more about everything announced at WWDC, make sure you are subscribed to CNET's YouTube channel. But now, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about iOS 16? What features are you excited to try? Throw your thoughts in the comments.